What's up everybody and welcome back to Analyzing the Greats, where we look at some of the greatest distance runners of all time and find out exactly what made them so great. In this episode, we'll be taking a deep look at Galen Rupp of the United States. And if you're new to this channel, at the end of each video, we rank these runners and compare them to other great distance runners as well. Each runner will be ranked from 1 to 100, with 100 being the highest possible level a distance runner can achieve. Currently, our highest ranked runner is Kenanisa Bekele of Ethiopia, who scored a 99 out of 100. So yes, Mr. Bekele is an absolute beast. At the end of this video, I'll run through each individual category and discuss my thoughts behind Galen Rupp, and I'll do my best again to take everything about his running career into consideration. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and jump into some videos of Mr. Galen Rupp. All right, guys, so the first video we're going to be looking at today is the Prague Marathon. And I look at this marathon as kind of a redemption marathon for Galen Rupp because, you know, he ran Boston in April of 2018 this year, but Boston Marathon weather was so terrible that he dropped out at the 20 mile mark. So he came to this race knowing he was in good shape, wanted to get the victory, wanted to get a personal best. Uh, and he got both. He ran a two-hour, six-minute, and seven-second marathon, which is still his personal best. Um, and right around, uh, this is one hour and 26 minutes. Right around here, he kind of took the lead and asserted himself. And, and look at the form here. Really nice and tall, shoulders nice and relaxed. And look at his foot placement. He kind of does what I saw in Eli Kipchoge. He lands very much on the forefront of his foot. But with Galen Rupp, it, it looks like his heel never even touches the ground hardly. You know, he lands right underneath his body, his feet land um, relatively lightly. You know, we've got um, got a little bit more impact than Mr. Kipchoge, but um, it's kind of hard to compare everyone to Mr. Kipchoge. But uh, back to Galen Rupp here, um, his his form is great. His form is absolutely fantastic. He's got some of the best form I've ever seen. That's why I think that's why he's transformed so well to the marathon because his form is really good. Um, and this race, you know, he kind of showcased that two hours, six minutes, and seven seconds with a little vomit at the end there. Fantastic. Uh, so, so the second video we're going to take a look at here is the 2014 United States 10,000 meter championship. And this is definitely in Galen Rupp's wheelhouse. He is an eight-time 10K U.S. champion. Absolutely incredible. Uh, and here's a good side view of him. Very smooth, again, like we mentioned earlier. Um, one thing that I want to definitely point out with him is his arms. Are, like the, the form in his arms is so fantastic. The pullback isn't too exaggerated. The, the, the push up to the front doesn't come too high. Uh, it doesn't go past his collarbone, which is great. Um, so I just got to give him props there. And his cadence is very balanced. And this is him in the last 400 meters. Here's a good slow-mo of him. You get an idea of uh, the low impact I was talking about earlier. You know, his head doesn't bob hardly at all. He lands very much on the forefront, pushes off with a lot of smoothness. Um, there's no shoulder sway. There's a lot of balance there to be had. And I'm sure he and Alberto Salazar have worked on that over the years. But um, great form for him. And, I mean, this is, I think, his fourth 10K championship in a row. Uh, so this is sort of him in the middle of his dominance and just sort of making it look easy. He runs a 61 or 60 second last lap and basically jogged the second half. It was kind of crazy. Um, anyways, here's the last video I want to take a look at. And this is going all the way back to 2008. I believe this is when he was a junior at the University of Oregon. And at this point in his college career, he had not won a single NCAA individual championship. He had gotten, I believe, fourth or fifth a few times. But at this point, he still hadn't won one. And amazingly, at this point, he was also already an Olympian from earlier that year in 2008 uh, in the 10,000 meters. So coming into this race, he was extremely determined, and he uses that experience from the Olympics in this race to kind of help him win. And I think one thing that he and Alberto Salazar likely talked about was the tactics that he was going to take in this race. He hung behind Sam Chilonga from Liberty there almost for the entire race, just drafting off of him. And honestly, I think this is just a smart move. Galen knew he had a lot of a lot of endurance. I'm sure he was in extremely good fitness. And basically what he does here is he plays a sit and kick game, kind of like the Mo Farah style, or the Mo Farah style, excuse me. Um, he sits in pretty much behind Sam Chalanga for the first almost nine and a half kilometers and then kind of takes off. And I think this is an important race because this is kind of a big uh, transition for him. He was already an Olympian, of course, but um, once, he's, once he won this race, I think his confidence just went really high, and he started winning a lot more and started initiating more championships and started running faster times as well. So, you know, this is an important part right here. The last kick is where he, sh I mean, you can see it, but like immediately takes off and gaps him by like 20 meters. Um, 
Sam Chalanga is an amazing athlete. He's run 60 flat for the half marathon, but Galen Rupp here just really ran away from him extremely quickly and made it look easy. And at the time, this was the course record at Terre Haute, Indiana, 29 minutes and two seconds. So quite fast for Mr. Galen Rupp here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to give Galen Rupp a score. And remember, we are doing a 1 to 100 ranking system here, with 100 being the highest a runner can attain. So, the first category I'm going to look at is the running economy. And I gave Galen Rupp a 10 here. And that's because I think his transition to the marathon has been quite good. He won the, his first marathon was the 2016 Olympic Trials, and he won that race. He has a PR of 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 7 seconds. He's been under an hour for the half marathon, and with that kind of endurance, and his smoothness, and you can see it in his smoothness actually, his running economy is just great, so I gave him a 10. Second is mental toughness, and I gave him a 9 out of 10 here, and I gave him a 9 out of 10 because I think he has a small shortcoming when it comes to being stubborn at the end of a race, and marathons specifically. Um, I have a memory of seeing Mo Farah trying to kick down Kennedy Spikele at the Great North Run a few years ago, and that's just one of the most in impressive examples of toughness I've, I can remember, really. I think that Mo Farah has an extended history of being, you know, just extremely tough. And while, I mean, 9 out of 10 is a great score, and I think Galen Rupp is extremely tough. But I think if he really unleashed that beast, he could attain a 10 and win a little bit more. So I gave him a 9 out of 10 here. For strong kick, I gave Galen a 9 out of 10. He clearly has a great kick. You saw him run um, a pretty easy 60-second last lap against Chris Derrick in the 2014 U.S. 10K Championships. But um, and he's also run. He has run a 152 final 800 in a 10K before. But you know, comparing him to Bakele and Farah, Gaber Selassie, runners like that, it's only fair that I give Galen a 10, uh, excuse me a nine here. He's just not quite at a 10. But maybe over time he can prove that he is a 10. So give him a nine here. And for career longevity, I gave Galen a 10. I think there's no question that he's been in distance running in the highest of rankings for a very long time. In fact, even when he was in high school, he was breaking records. So, I mean, it goes back to 2003, 2002 even, when he was really performing at a high level. Um, you know, 2008 he was an Olympian, and it's 2018 now, and he's still running extremely well. And sort of a magic number for... Um, for longevity for me is 10 years. So, you know, he's been doing it for over a decade now, almost two decades. So I gave him a perfect 10 out of 10 here. For championship performances, I gave him a 9 out of 10. He's got, he, indeed, he's got a lot of really good performances and he's won a lot of championships. But when it comes to the global stage, he has, you know, he hasn't won Olympic gold. He's won an Olympic bronze at the marathon. He's run an Olympic, he's won an Olympic silver in the 10,000 meters back in 2012. But again, comparing him to the absolute bests, um, he does not have the resume with the World Championships and Olympic Championships. He just doesn't have it. But, you know, 9 out of 10 is extremely impressive, and I think that is um, a great score for him. For running range, I gave him a 9 out of 10. Or, excuse me, I gave him a 10 out of 10. That, that's not even a question. Running range is unbelievable. His mile is a 350, 2 mile is an 807, 5K 1258, 10K 2644, he's the American record holder. Half marathon is 59.47, which is only four seconds behind Ryan Hall. And the marathon is a two hour, six minute and seven second personal best. And I personally think he's got a lot more potential in the marathon. He just kind of has to find that perfect circumstance where he can run, you know, 203, something like that. So really impressive range. And so I gave him a 10 out of 10. For tactical awareness, I gave him a nine out of 10. I think Galen Rupp is extremely intelligent tactically smart, tactically savvy. He knows how to use his strength to his advantage. But I think sometimes at the big races, he can find himself just a little bit behind where he needs to be because he does have a decent kick. But I think sometimes the runners get away from him. And I think that's that's the only thing I could really think of. You know, he's proven that he can do his, uh, he can use his tactics to his advantage. So I gave him a nine out of 10 here. For personal bests, I also gave him a 10. I just ran through his resume, 350 mile, 206 marathon, Sub one hour marathon, 1258 5K, not even a question. Gave him a 10 out of 10. For records broken, I gave him a 9 out of 10. He has broken, I believe he holds three current American records. That's the, uh, the 10K outdoors, the two mile indoors, and the 5K indoors. Um, but again, you got to compare him to everyone in the world here. We've already looked at um, a lot of great distance runners throughout the world. Kennedy Spikaley, Haber Gaber Selassie have broken 
multiple world records. Galen Rupp doesn't quite have that yet. And I say yet because I still, I mean, honestly, the marathon's wide open for him. I think he can do great things, so give him a 9 out of 10 here. And for adaptation, I gave him a 9 out of 10. I think he has made the transition from the track to the roads extremely well. Um, however, again, he has not performed to the level of, say, Kennedy Bekele or Mo Farah. In fact, this year, Mo Farah won the Chicago Marathon. And that's a race Galen Rupp won last year, um, but Mo Farah broke Galen's personal best in that performance this year. It's very close for Galen Rupp here. I wanted to give him a 10 because he has improved himself constantly. You know, he's he's won that NCAA championship before he, you know, you weren't really sure if he was going to win one. And then he became an eight-time U.S. 10K champion. Then he went to the roads, has done extremely well, but the level of talent that he has pursued and showed is not quite matched yet to an Eli Kipchoge or a Kennedy Spikele. So, 9 out of 10 for him. And in total, Galen Rupp gets a 94 out of 100. That's a great score. Incredible score. Anything above 90 really in this list is, you know, you're up, up there with the big boys. So, um, that's really incredible. Congrats to Galen Rupp. I think that's a great score. That puts him just above Steve Prefontaine and just short of Sebastian Coe. Here is the table that I've created. And, um, yeah, I, that was really fun looking at him. I, I am very impressed with Galen Rupp's career. He's got a long, illustrious career, a lot of personal, just a lot of really great runs in his career. So, um, again, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Should I have ranked him higher or lower? Galen Rupp is the American beast coming out, you know, of the University of Oregon, born in Portland, Oregon, West Coast guy. And again, I would love to know your thoughts. Um, so comment down below, disagreements, agreements. Um, and again, let me know if there's any runners that you are interested in seeing. I would love to do this again. In fact, I've got a few planned, but I'm always interested in your recommendations. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Galen Rupp. That's his analysis. And thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe for more running content and more elite distance runner rankings. And I'll see you in the next video.